think it's safe. Let's go. Four loaves of bread. Yeah. I said four. They told me you were blind. Yes, but not stupid. Yeah. Here, four. Soldiers. Soldiers. Desk. Take the bread. Whoa. So, what have you and your band of rats found for me today, old man? I certainly hope you've come up with something better than the last time. David! What have you here? Swords? We already have weapons. But none of this quality. Garbage as usual. This is nothing compared to the Emperor's steel. You've already taken my best weapons. Well, we want more. We offer you all we can find. Then you're not looking hard enough. You know this junk isn't worth anything. You want the swords. Give them to me. Don't be shy, boy. Let me see them. Not until you play us. Hey, you. <laughs> Don't make demands from me, boy. Be thankful we let you live. Remember, there are people who pass this way twice a month, slavers on their way south. They give me a good price for a boy like you. Leave him alone! You want to try and stop me, old man? Well? Find my sight, Hunt! If you had your sight, you'd see how pathetic you are. Let's go. We'll be back tomorrow, and if you don't have something for me, I'll take the boy. We saw the campfire. I've been looking for you, Tal. So is every soldier in the country. We met two of them this morning. Have a drink, Tal. They eat well, these black knights. You'll find the wine full-bodied. 
Its owner certainly was. <laughs> David, it's time you went out again. Why do we have to do what the knights tell us? To survive. You heard what they said. We could fight. Don't talk like a child. Go and wake the others. And David, don't come back empty-handed. You've become a legend, Tell. Everywhere we've been, everyone knows the story. And with each retelling, it becomes more powerful. We can bring down the Empire. The two of you. No. The three of us. I need an army tell. And you can give it to me. The people will follow you. You can't turn your back on us. It's your fight, not mine. It's the people's fight. What have you got to lose? A wife and a son. You go ahead and fight your war, Blade, if that's what you and Roland understand. You can fight it without me. One day, you'll wake up. Not if I don't get some sleep. Everything. Everything. The horses? Headed south. Hey, look at these footprints. Look at the size of them. They could have been made by children. Oh, it's a good sword, David. Sharp. A blade well-tempered. It'll fetch a good price. What else did you get? Three horses. We put them in the field. Horses? Oh, the soldiers will be pleased. They'll pay us well. You say that every time. And sometimes you say too much. You want to live as slaves the rest of your lives? Share out the food you found in the forest. They could be miles away by now. I don't think so. They're traveling pretty slow. You can tell by the tracks. Well, I can't go much further. You can tell from the Shh. blisters on... Just a man looking for his horse. Ah! 
Good day to you, sir. Uh, you must excuse them. <laughs> They're not used to strangers. Uh, Parker's the name. Is there something I can do for you? I've come for horses. Horses? Well, now, horses are very hard to come by. How many were you looking for? Three. I don't have any horses. And if I did... They'd be very expensive. Not if they belonged to me, they wouldn't. <laughs> You're in no position to demand anything. Got. Why should I just take the boy? Three horses, clothes, uh, new weapons, uh, a wineskin. How much will you pay for it? Wait a minute. Mind your business. We'll take it all and we'll let you live. Get some more and we just might let you keep the boy. I want those horses. If I can't buy them from him, I'll buy them from you. What have you got that we could possibly want? How about William Tell? You know where he is? I could arrange for him to come here. Alone. When? Tomorrow. The three of you come back. Just the three of you. He'll be here. Unarmed. And tied up. You're lying to me. After I've dealt with a blind man and the children, I'll come and deal with you. William Tell had better be here. He will be. Let's not waste any more time. Hey, yep! trying to do you won't stand a chance they'll cut you down I don't give them so much credit you don't understand I've seen them during the uprising I fought against them thought we could defeat them then watched as they burned my home took my wife and children and Parker and they made me watch. All of it. And then they put me into darkness. I tried to stop them. They jumped me. You got up easy. You all right? It's nothing but kids. Ow! <laughs> Bits and pieces. They'll have to be put back together. There's enough here to supply a small army. 
I wonder if my sword's in here anywhere. Is it true? Is what true? Are you going to turn William Tell in? He hasn't done anything. So the Black Knights will kill him. If William Tell is in trouble, we can help him. It'll be our fault if anything happens to him. Parker, I want... I want you to take these kids out of here tomorrow. No! This is our home. It's our fight too. Maybe William Tell can help you. How do you know he'll help us? Because he is William Tell. I wasn't talking about hiding. When's the last time you went outside? Oh, I never leave this cave. I'm happier here with the children. Outside with me now. No. No. Come on. Come on. Tell me what you see. Don't be stupid. I'm not. Tell me what you see. A wasteland. Nothing growing anymore. They've destroyed everything. Oh, I see. Only the flames. It was beautiful once, but they've ruined it. Can't you feel the sun? Things grow in the sunlight, Parker. The last thing you saw was a world in flames. But the seeds were good, like the children. Children will rebuild this world, Parker. Not if they live out their lives in fear. But the soldiers. There'll always be soldiers, Parker. There'll always be soldiers. Children are all orphans, some from villages, some from farms. They've seen their parents killed. They've lost everything. But we managed to make a life together here until the Black Knights came. They'd heard about us, and then they came and found us. They've taken the best of everything, but somehow it's never enough for them. children. Maybe. But one day when they're grown up and they've been properly trained. It's almost noon. We should get ready. Get into position. You ready? One word. We'll be right here. You, uh, you haven't said where you want me when the fighting starts. Oh, oh you're not going to fight. What? Why not? Can I tell you? They're coming for William Tell. So you're William Tell. Where are my horses? Nearby, but I've been rethinking our arrangement. You want him, you pay for him. If I want him, I just have to reach over and take him. Come get him. You're getting a bit too... Hey, what's going on?
You sure did. Looks like you finally got the army you were after. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. It's not such a bad bargain, Roland. Cave full of weapons in exchange for taking the children to the free zone. The revolution may be postponed, but it's not over. You can't turn your back on us, Tell. You can't turn your back on your destiny.